Hi, I am in literally one of my favorite places on earth, and I'll tell you why at the end of the video, but if you've been following this channel, you'll know why. But I'm gonna break away from my typical channel vibes where I'm only talking about story, and today we're gonna talk about gear. It's still one of the most DM'd things I get. So I'm gonna go over what is in my backpack, what gear I'm using, and what I'm really vibing on. So let's talk about that. Okay. Thought it would be all cute to do it in the forest, but I completely regret this now. There we go. Yeah. Oh, hi there. I'm a lens flare. You see, Mark didn't check his LCD screen all that much while he was filming. And, well, when you point your lens towards a big ball of burning gas that's about 15 million degrees Celsius, light tends to bounce around your lens. Now, I can assure you it's not a defect with the lens, but I'm gonna be here the entire video, so you can get used to me. Because I'm not leaving. Let's talk about some gear. First off, this backpack, I love it. It's by Vinta. Sadly, they've gone out of business. Sad day, I really love their bags. I'm hoping to figure out a new backpack to use. So, if there's any companies out there that are interested, shoot me an email. My first piece of gear I wanna talk about right now is something that was sent to me, the Omni Charge. This little battery is powerful. It can give you one full charge. It has the full three prong adapter here. So you can plug in your laptop battery. It also has two USB 3s and a bunch of USB Cs. Actually, when I say bunch, I mean one, but this thing can charge your laptop, one full charge, can charge your drone like a bunch of times, can charge your laptop, I think like 10 times. I travel everywhere with this, because also too, place your phone on top of it and it's a wireless charger. Très bien, love this. My other piece of gear I'm using right now is the Sony FX3. Finally upgraded to that, I have a flip LCD screen. I feel like a big YouTuber now. I don't understand how you're doing YouTube without a flip LCD screen. <laughs> I was using the a7 III for a long time, but I love the FX3, everything about it. It's one of my favorite cameras I've ever owned. It's like an FX9 into a tiny little body, so I'm very comfortable shooting with it. Big fan. I also always roll with this Chiotech brick rather than the Apple one, because this has two USB 3s, so I always keep a USB-C and a lightning cable, so that I always have an iPhone charger. The next piece of gear is something I've overlooked for a very long time, and I'm pretty sad to say when I switched over to this gear, I realized how bad I had it for a long time. I'm now using a brand new Sennheiser microphone. Oh, hi, me again. Not only does Mark not know how to use a flip LCD screen, doesn't know how to pronounce his own gear. It's not Sennheiser, it's Zenheiser. 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 I'm using the MKE 400 mic. I had an unnamed mic, I won't say what it was before, but my audio was really bad when I would travel. But this new MKE 400, I'm out in a pretty noisy forest. There's helicopters going by, there's even a chainsaw in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but what's super great about this mic is how directional it is. I was blown away when I used it in my studio. It started sounding like my $3,000 Sheps mic that we use, and I get to travel with it and it takes a little AAA battery, but it lasts 100 hours. And the best part of it is because I'm so forgetful, it powers down automatically when I'm not using it. I've had mics in the past where there's a power switch and I always drain through the batteries. And then when you actually need the mic, it's completely dead. And because this mic is so directional, it cuts out things like air conditioners and wind. I was in a hotel room and I did a recent YouTube video and the air conditioner was so loud, but when I use this mic, you can barely hear it in the background. It also comes with a travel kit, so you can attach it to your iPhone if you want to vlog more, which is another piece of gear I use, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I, I tried the mini for a while, but I'm obsessed with this. I use it more and more, I'm sneaking shots into my films all the time with the iPhone. And this mic can connect to that. So part of me is also thinking, maybe I might start vlogging a bit with my iPhone sometimes when I don't even want to pull a camera out. Another great feature of this mic is that there's a volume toggle button right on the actual mic and it also has a headphone jack so you can always monitor your audio even if you're using something like an iPhone. Check out the MKE 400, I put a link below. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this mic but it was a big deal for me that I switched away from my vlogging mic that I've used for three years. I don't know, I get kind of nostalgic, that's probably why I just went to an FX3 but I'm really enjoying having this mic and I'm sad that I didn't get something like it earlier. So go check out the link below for that MKE. I'm also right now using the new Sony 16 to 35. 
It is an F4 lens, but what I love about it is it's like half the weight of the regular 16 to 35 that I use. This is a brand new lens by Sony. It's super sharp. The PZ is also significantly more cost effective than the G Master version. It also has a de-clickable aperture. I really love a clickable aperture. It reminds me of the old cinema lenses I used to use. The power zoom isn't mechanical, which saves on weight, which is really the main advantage of this lens. Besides how sharp it is, which I would say probably is the most sharp lens I have in my kit, it's also one of the lightest, which makes it super ideal for vlogging. And when I'm vlogging, I'm not as concerned about shooting 2.8, so the F4 works just fine for that. I kind of think it's gonna be my travel lens because of how light it is and because of how sharp it is, and the fact that there isn't any moving components when I'm out here in the forest and all that, I'm really liking the size factor because it makes this whole setup so light and so usable when I'm traveling because I hate traveling with lots of gear. Speaking of Sennheiser also, just got into their noise canceling headphones, the Momentum. And I've always just done the earbuds, but these things, oh, it's playing music right now. These are amazing. Just doing all this flying across the US to LA and to North Carolina. And it was my first time traveling with a true noise canceling pair. I found the battery lasts at least 20 hours. They've, I've only charged it like twice and I've had them now for three weeks. What else do we have here? What else do I use? Well, still rocking the MacBook Pro. This is almost three years old now. It's still working great for me. I'm cutting on this all the time. No issues with that, no complaints. Love my Apple laptop. I'm thinking of upgrading very soon, hopefully. This is what I edit off of when I'm traveling. Samsung two terabyte. Is it two terabyte or is it one terabyte? Oh, no, one terabyte. I cheaped out. Probably should have got a two terabyte, but this is a one terabyte Samsung SSD. Everyone should have one of these. Everyone should have one SSD to edit off of. Get away from the spinning disks because not only does your footage dump to this so much quicker off of your camera, but you won't have all those playback issues in your editing software when you're editing off an SSD. So I always travel with this and then I dump it all to my RAID. I'm always traveling too with my Polar Pro VND. This is a two to five stop. It's the Peter McKinnon edition. It's a missed one. It's what I have on here right now. Can't go without that because I don't want to stop down, especially on a lens like this, that's an F4. CarMax lip balm, can't go without that. Started traveling with AG1, which is athletic greens. I take one of these every day when I'm traveling so I don't get sick. Ors and Alps, that's my deodorant. I roll with a Garmin. I don't have anything against Apple Watches. I'm just a big runner, so I've been wearing this. I also should mention too, I retired my Gorillapod. I'm gonna send you a little video here of what I'm currently using. This is a Manfrotto kind of like vlogger stand. And I was really afraid to switch over to this thing because I thought I always needed the Gorilla Pod. But as you can see, it works just fine. And what's great is it's so easy just to adjust, readjust. It's just a little button that you press. It's not like the Gorilla Pod, which you have to unscrew and then tighten back up and then it starts slowly sliding down. You can always find a semi-flat surface and you throw your kit on there. And also it's too, it's tiny. It just slips into my bag. Ooh, one more piece of gear, the eye cloth wipes. These are awesome. I carry a pack of these wherever I go because I wipe down my screen and my laptop screen and you can actually see it. It sucks when you have all those fingerprints on that. I think that's about it. I keep it pretty simple. Just one lens I travel with here, the new 16 to 35 from Sony, my FX3 body, my Sennheiser MKE 400 mic, my little man Frodo stand, laptop, one SSD. Just try to keep this small. And then like I said, my noise canceling headphones and this battery. I try not to bring too many pieces of gear. I don't even bring my drone anymore because, well, like, who needs it? I'd rather be talking to you guys about story than showing you some random shots of a city that I could just get off of story blocks, truthfully. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. And as promised, I'm gonna go hang out with the people who are the reason I'm here in this forest. So if you made it this far, drop me one of these emojis. I always love knowing who made it to the end. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, who's here? Oh, yeah. Here's here. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. ah, yeah, come in. Ah. No. No, no, get on. Cut. All right, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>